and welcome sa aking YouTube channel. So, in this video, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ba gumawa ng faux calligraphy using not so expensive materials na makikita nyo lang actually sa loob ng bahay nyo. So, kung wala kang brush pen, walang problema. You just have to follow the step-by-step -step procedure that I will be showing to you. So for our first step, you just have to write any letter in a cursive font. I'm sure lahat tayo merong idea kung ano ang cursive. Second, draw a line in every downstroke. So be careful with this one kasi baka hindi pantay yung linya na magawa mo. So kailangan tansyahin mo lang besh. So for the last step, you have to fill all the spaces through shading. Let's go now to the materials. You can make a faux calligraphy by using any types of ball pen, but I will highly suggest na mas makapal sana yung tip, like this one is 0.5 para mas magawa nyo na yung shading ng maayos. Next is pencil. Mas maganda sana kung yung ordinary na pencil lang yung gagamitin mo. But for this video, I will be using this Korotoga 0.5 pencil kasi ito yung meron ako. You can also use a highlighter. So, I have this fluorescent pen. This is actually a twin pen. So, this is the first tip. And the second tip. Using marker in fall calligraphy is actually my favorite. So in this video, I will be using Sharpie Permanent Marker. This is a cold metallic, pero pwede rin kayong gumamit ng kahit anong ordinary yung marker lang. So last is Plus Pen. So nabili ko to sa Miniso for only 3 for 99 pesos. So meron ako na itong tatlong kulay, yung red, pink, and black. This time, i-apply na natin yung step-by-step -step procedure na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, konting kwento lang. Actually, dito ako nag-start sa faux calligraphy. Ito yung mga panahon na wala akong pambili ng brush pen and I don't know where to find a brush pen actually. Pero, nung nalaman ko tong technique na to, uh, dito ako na natuto and mas nag-persevere na mag-aral pa ng calligraphy. Sa paggamit ng pen, actually mas sinasuggest ko talaga yung gel pen kesa sa sign pen pagdating sa faux calligraphy kasi mas magagawa mo yung shading ng maayos. When using highlighter naman, hindi mo na kailangan ng line pa or ng shading pa kasi directly madudouble na yung volume ng downstroke mo. So, tulad nga ng sinabi ko about pencil kanina, mas okay kung yung mongol or yung ordinary pencil lang yung gagamitin mo kasi mas madali siyang ipang shade kasi sa ganitong pencil. Guys, kung wala kayong ganitong marker, okay lang kahit yung pentel pen yung gamitin nyo. Basta kailangan round yung tip niya kasi mas madali yung ipang sulat. And same ng highlighter, hindi mo na kailangan gumawa ng extra line. Kailangan mo lang 
doblehin yung downstroke. So guys, mapapansin nyo, halos pa ulit-ulit lang naman ang procedure. Lagi nyo lang tatandaan yung tatlong step na pinakita ko sa inyo. And for another tip, you just have to make all the downstroke thick or makapal and leave the upstroke thin. That's all for this video and I hope meron kayong natutunan about calligraphy. and kung meron pa kayong mga suggestions, just comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!